Hello out there in uh, YouTube land. This is Radmal again with another update on my virtual midlife crisis. Um, been uh, upping the amount of riding I've been doing, uh, doubling my daily ride. If if you drop by my virtual midlife crisis dot freewebspace dot com, you can uh, check that out on the blog and uh, see what's going on with that. Uh, I don't think I could ride myself into shape on a trip, so I'm going to have to do it ahead of time. So I, I've uh, done 25 miles a couple days now. But anyway, the details are all in the blog, so so feel free to drop by. Um, some other news, we've been putting together equipment. Uh, picked up a tent today, went to a place called the Outdoor Store up in Arcata, California. And a real helpful young man named Aaron helped me uh, put together a a really nice, uh, it's a three season tent, real waterproof and that's the, the big thing is I want to be able to, to stay dry wherever I am. I'm not gonna be where it's real freaking cold. I've just decided that we'll just, you know, we'll go south in the winter and and if, if we do do the northern tier uh, it'll be in, in a little warmer climes and if we do cross the Rockies it's not gonna be while it's snowing so I didn't really figure we needed a four season tent and uh, weight is a concern uh, the, the tent ran uh, 220 bucks, including the ground cover, stakes, uh, guy wires, everything. And that's not bad for, for a real top quality, lightweight uh, backpacking tent. Uh, packed, it's less than 24 inches long and only weighs 5.5 pounds. So I think that's, that's going to be uh, real good. It's got a few extra little features. It's got some nice vestibule space to keep the, my gear dry. Um, like I say, it's very waterproof, and so even even in a lot of rain, I think we'll we'll be cool. And uh, the guys up at the outdoor store, they were real real helpful. They showed me how to put things together, so I like to give them a little little shout out and thank Aaron for his help. Uh, the other thing that uh, I'd like to talk to you folks about today is charity. Uh, what I'm looking to do is create the uh, official philanthropic endeavor of the crisis and that's where you folks come in uh, stop by the website and if you've got a particular cause that you think could benefit from either uh, some fundraising or some awareness raising uh, I think this is a, a good opportunity just about everybody that, that rides across the country a lot of people do put some sort of charitable uh, component to their ride and I think that it, you know I'd be kind of an idiot not to do something like that. So um, help us choose the the official charity or the as I'm calling it the official philanthropic endeavor. If uh, somebody you know has a has a, a particularly if if you know somebody that that has like an orphan disease, I'm I'm sure that that most people out there know what that is something very rare that could use some research money or some research awareness. Uh, that's the kind of thing I would like to do. If uh, I'm not sure how we're going to make the decision, uh, whether someone drops by with with a really poignant story, or if more people, you know, maybe maybe more people are going to going to want to do uh, research for multiple sclerosis or breast cancer or something like that, colon cancer, a whole lot of things out there. I've got a few things, people that, that diseases that have affected people in my family. Uh, maybe there's some sort of political thing that you think uh, some awareness would help. Um, whatever let me know and uh, I'll uh, keep you guys apprised like you say the, the crisis is progressing uh, we're getting ready to go crazy at 10 miles an hour and uh, would love for you to come along